In this video, we're going to set up a emulator for our Mac. Now, if you're running a Windows machine, make sure you refer to the Windows videos because there's a separate few steps you need to take for that. Okay, so first things first, assuming you've got a relatively recent Mac that's sort of three or four years old or, or no older than, say, a 2011 model, 2010, 2011, scroll down here to the bottom. We're still in the Android SDK Manager. And if you've forgotten how to get access to that, you basically start Eclipse, Window, Android SDK Manager. So I'm just going to go back to the Android SDK Manager. Then we need to install just one thing, which is this Intel x86 Emulator Accelerator Haxum. You can see at the moment over here it's not installed. So I'm going to click on the box and make sure nothing else is selected. And I can just tell this easily but by the fact there's only one package to install. If it had more than one, it would mean that I would have ticked, uh, had something else ticked. So I'm going to click on that. Click the top thing the top heading and click on accept license and then install. Now this is only a relatively small file so it should download and install quite quickly. Well actually it's only downloading. What we need to do is manually install this because it's an extra step. We've done loading packages so I can close this down now. Now I suggest if you have got Eclipse open you'll want to close that as well for this next step. So I'm going to click on quit Eclipse and I'm going to go back now to the folder where I originally installed the Android developer tools. So I'm going to double click into that, click into SDK, click into Extras, click into Intel, and you notice now there's a subfolder, Hardware Accelerated Execution Manager. I double click that, and there's now a file here. Well, there's actually two files here. So it's Intel Haxum 110 below 10.10. .10. So that tells us that if you're running OS X version that's under 10.10, .10, and 10.10 .10 is Yosemite, the very latest version that's come out from Apple. Uh, in this case, if you're not sure, the easiest thing to do is just to click on about this Mac, and it will tell you. In this case, I'm running 10.9.5, uh, which is Mavericks. So I can actually go ahead and use the second image. But if you're running Yosemite, if you're 10.10 .10 or higher, you'd go for the second one. But in this case, again, I'm running Mavericks, which is below 10.10, .10, so I'm going to select that one. Double click it to open it. Install it. Click on continue. And again, basically it's telling us what this is. It's essentially a way to speed up Android development. I really, it just really ties the Intel processor and the graphics of your video card into Android testing to make it much faster. I suggest you just leave this at the default. Now obviously I've got heaps of RAM on this machine. I've got 32 gigs of RAM, but two gigs should be more than enough. It's really not going to be a taxing thing that uh, that this is used for. It's really only used for a bit of testing. So really the default should be right uh, in, my, in almost all situations. Click on then, click on continue, install, enter my password. Again, this is a once-only setup. Once this is done, we can then go open Eclipse again and we can move on to setting up the emulator. Okay, you can see there it's just giving us a message similar to the one that you, you probably saw if you've been following along with the other Mac videos, the, the identified and unidentified developer errors, but it's basically saying here, but it's still going to be loaded. So it's just really a warning message, but look, we know what we're doing. We've downloaded it using a reputable uh, SDK manager that we trust, so there shouldn't be any problems there. So I'm going to click on OK. Installation was completed successfully and close. So we're now done with that setup. And what we want to do now is go back to again to our Android Developer Tools folder, back into Eclipse, and we want to start Eclipse. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to set up an emulator so that we can actually run a sort of virtual Android device, which we'll use in subsequent videos for testing our games. This can be useful for two reasons. Firstly, if you don't own a real Android device, it's a great way to be able to test games. But also, even if you have got an Android device, sometimes it's quicker to test on the screen rather than having to you know, plug in your Android device. So I suggest you set this up irrespective of whether you've got an Android device or not. Okay, so moving on, go into Window now, now that we've loaded Eclipse, and go into Android Virtual Device Manager. And basically what we want to do is now set up that emulator. So we're going to click on Device Definitions. Now I'm just going to choose a Nexus 4. You can choose any device you like. Keep in mind that the resolution, uh, it will try and map it to this screen. I'm going to use a Nexus 4, which I know will fit on this screen uh, reasonably well. 
I'm going to click on create ABD, but it doesn't really matter. These are basically just different types of device, Android devices that the machine will emulate. And look, you can't really go wrong here because if you make a mistake, there's an option uh, later, which I'll show you where you can delete it and start again. So it's really quite simple. Click on create ABD. There's a few settings here. Now you can call this ABD name whatever you like. I normally don't bother changing and I leave it just whatever the default was. Target. Now you remember that before we installed the SDK, the uh, Android SDK in a previous video, we want to select that one, the one with API level 19. I'm going to click on that. doesn't really matter, but this is basically going to be the Android version that the emulator is going to run. Now the skin doesn't really matter there. I normally just select the first one, skin with dynamic hardware controls. Now memory options, you can leave that, leave that as whatever the default is. The, would the computer decides how much, or the software comes up and sort of comes up with a suggestion of how much RAM to allocate. Normally the default is okay. But the important thing down here is to make sure you click on use host GPU. GPU stands for graphics uh, processing unit. So essentially what we're doing is we're saying for this Android uh, emulator, we want to use the real graphics card on this computer and that will really speed up operations, both, both loading of the image uh, of the emulator, I should say, but also drawing, you know, the speed that it actually draws things on the screen and so forth. Click on OK. That's now created it, and I'll just put this into the middle. Now, you notice here that there was other options. So I mentioned before that you could delete things. If you got yourself uh, into a bit of a mess and you weren't sure what you did wrong, you can click on Delete and delete it from there, and then go back into Device Definitions and start again. So you can't really go wrong. It's just creating a bit of, it's using up a bit of disk space. It's really not going to be causing too much you know, it's not going to take up a lot of space and it's not going to cause any problems. But in this case, I'm happy with what it's come up with. So I'm going to click on start. Now this screen will come up. Really the only thing that you need to keep in mind here, uh, leave everything else as the default options, wipe user data. Now the, what that will do is if you click on that, that will actually delete all the data on the Android phone. It's sort of like doing a, a format. It's getting it back to its default state can be useful if you've downloaded and set up a few games in there and things are starting to look a bit messy and you just want to come back with a clean slate again. Because this is the first time it's been launched, obviously it's going to be back at its default state anyway, so I don't need to do that this time. So I'm going to click on launch. Now, as this is starting, we should get a note in a minute about Haxum. So we're just going to have a look at that. So see, Hax is working and emulator runs in fast virtual mode. So you can see it's now loading now. It's loading the Android operating system. So this is basically emulating a real Android device on our screen. I'll put that into the, more into the middle. Now trust me, that hacks that hacksum that we installed, because we've used that, that has saved so much time. That has saved you know, probably three or four minutes loading time. And when you're actually play, uh, playing a game or using this, it's just so much faster. So I definitely suggest you use that Hexam as I've shown you in the video because it's just so much quicker to use. So now if I click on OK, you can see basically this is now an Android device. This is just as if you had a real Android device. It's running the very same software or a version of the software that real Android devices run. So for all intensive purposes, this is an Android device. I can click on the button to get a list of menus. Uh, because it's the first time it's coming up and giving, asking us for some help or giving us some help. But I can do all the standard things that uh, you could normally do on an Android phone. Obviously, I can't make phone calls. You know, the calculator is working fine. I can close it down. I can swipe to left and right and so forth. So I've got a real device here that I can use. And in future videos, we're going to go through and show you how to use that and how to run, uh, basically run the game within this uh, virtual device. The only other thing I need to show you now before the video ends is how to turn this device off. Basically, you just hold down this button here, which is the power button, and click on power off. The phone will shut down. Click on OK, and that should now shut down. And you can see that's now shut down, and you can just close this down. OK, so we're basically done. That's the creation of an emulator. Uh, which we're now ready to proceed to the next video.